八年消费电子展在上周末与赌城拉斯维加斯盛大揭幕。这是全球规模最大的科技盛会，不只是观察往后三到五年科技趋势走向的指标，更是近距离测试具有热卖潜力商品的大好机会。The show floor just keeps getting bigger every single year. We have pretty much all of the main manufacturers here, including Samsung, LG, Sony, and many, many more, showing off a whole lot of brand new products that we're going to see throughout 2018. 会场一开张就热闹滚滚，主办单位估计为期六天的活动将吸引至少十七万人次入场。今年共有近四千家公司参展，推出超过两万件创新产品。不论大型集团或新创公司，其中光是中国大陆企业就占了三分之一。虽然比二零一七年的盛况少了近两百五十家，但是仍然有一千三百二十七家的规模，持续成为美国以外的第二大参展国。The United States is still by far the best. However, the gap between China and the United States are closing. And they're closing fast. And what will give an edge to China is a much larger population and a fast-growing market. CES 开办于一九六七年，包括 DVD 和高画质电视等划时代的产品，都曾经在此发表，并且进入全球千家万户的生活当中。但是，直到两千零一年，时任 Microsoft 创办人比尔盖茨发表 Xbox 游戏机，才算真正炒热了 CES 的名号。近年来，许多概念来来去去如昙花一现，加上 Apple 和 Samsung 等公司提前在年底假期购物潮来临之前夕发表新品。CES 建成车商在德州底特律车展前展示新配备的暖场秀。不过，在二零一八年迈入第五十一届之际 ，CES 的内容终于又有突破。不止过去从未设置摊位的搜寻引擎巨擘 Google 加入了战局，象征展览内容重新贴近日常生活需求，还宣告人类科技进入了人工智慧的全新领域。Yeah, the big one to watch is Google. Google never really bothered to turn up to CES, and they they were running around in the background. Now, now they are going to have a big presence for the first time in many years. And if you look at what Google is doing, it's it's kind of an example of what's going on more broadly in technology. They used to be mostly or almost purely a software company, internet company, and now they have a huge consumer hardware business that they're trying to grow very very rapidly. Then of course they have a smart speaker, which is part of that too, and that that competes with. Amazon Echo, and that's probably the consumer electronic gadget that, that's been the biggest hit in the last couple of years. So there's going to be a lot of competition on show at CES in, in that sector for sure. Google 助攻带动语音助理装置席卷会场，登上二零一八年 CES 的头号看点。Amazon 在二零一四年首度推出内建的 Alexa 语音助理，名为 Echo 的智慧型音箱。二零一七年六月 ，Amazon 发表搭载面板显示器的 Echo Show， 大幅领先 Apple 和 Microsoft 的同类型产品。这回 Google 首次让 Google Assistant 亮相，也让居家智慧语音互联战场多了强敌，进行正面对决，捉对厮杀。This year, the big trends are in voice assistants and artificial intelligence. So think. Amazon Alexa, the Google Assistant, Samsung has their own virtual assistant called Bixby, and LG does too called ThinQ. Now these assistants, you can pretty much do a whole bunch of things with. They're found in a bunch of different devices across the home. We're talking smart speakers, but this year we're also seeing them in televisions. We're seeing them in fridges. It turns out Kohler and Moen, these two companies we all know well that are big makers of kind of fancy high-end appliances and such for the bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them. Rolled out a smart mirror with Amazon Alexa built in, so you can verbally control the lighting or what audio is playing through the mirror as well. And then Moen has Amazon Alexa controlled shower controls. You know, you get in the shower and you know what temperature you like, but you don't know how to set it. You turn the knob about here, right? We all right. know that routine. Right. Here, you would just use Alexa and say, "Hey Alexa, get my shower ready at 103 degrees." And get it pre-warmed, but don't waste water spewing all that hot water out until I tell you that I'm getting in. It's actually a very smart concept、okay. to an existing issue that we all feel. 
根据消费电子协会的统计，例如 Amazon Echo 或 Google Home 这类号称可深度学习并且彻底解放双手的智慧型音响类产品，二零一七年在美国的销售量比前年增加了百分之两百七十九，而且渴望在二零一八年进一步出现百分之六十的成长，并在二零一九年达到巅峰，总销售量冲破五千六百万个。除了这些，还有不少新创公司的创新产品也十分吸睛。这是一个用计算机视觉和自动驾驶技术和轮式机器人控制在一起的一个啊、呃、机器人行李箱，然后它可以用计算机视觉对人脸识别和人形的检测跟踪。然后你可以看到，这是我们今天的实时的计算机视觉的演示。还有许多不同目的和功能的服务型机器人也抢着跟大家见面，掀起机器人是否能够完全取代真人的辩论。另一方面，红了几年的虚拟实境 VR 明显退烧，相关产品比去年减少了百分之三十，但是扩增实境 AR 相关装置则成长了百分之二十。The most futuristic stuff is going to be in the AR realm. So a couple of years ago, a virtual reality was was the really hot topic at at CES, and and that really hasn't panned out into a, into an everyday type tech product that that lots of people use.、Um, the hope is that that augmented reality is going to be、uh, much more friendly to regular users. 彭博新闻指出，过去几年可说是偏重软体应用城市 App 开发的阶段，但是随着更多概念被具体化，市场对表现强大且稳定的晶片也有了更多渴求，这也让硬体产品从今年起强势回归 CES。Um, a lot of the new, the new exciting technology that is coming out, even if it is more software-based, it needs specialized hardware to work really well. So self-driving cars is a perfect example where you need lidar, which is a special way of sensing、um, the surroundings of a car, and you need very, very powerful chips、um, to power all these things.、Um, so, for instance, Nvidia is going to have a strong presence again this year. 充分结合 AI 和硬体开发结晶的产品，非无人驾驶车辆莫属。日产和本田等世纪大厂推出了 AI 相关装置，拜腾、乐视集团在美投资的法拉第、未来等陆籍车厂，则竞相让自家研发的原型车曝光亮相。Believe it or not, mind reading through、uh, this is kind of my digital、uh, crown of thorns here. This is a piece you put on your head. It's got these little sensor probes underneath it, and when you don this, it will connect to a future Nissan vehicle to wirelessly communicate what I'm thinking to the vehicle. So maybe it can react a quarter to a half a second faster than it would by me actually grabbing the controls or stabbing at the brakes. Now this might have seemed like crazy stuff a couple years ago, but the way we're going now with connected technologies in cars. This isn't that nutty, and it could be used for safety. It could be used for things like getting a more sporty feel out of a car when you're in that mood. And Nissan is deadly serious about testing with this. It's pretty cool. Cars, cars, cars is the main one to look forward to. So、uh, that's both electric vehicles and, of course, autonomous vehicles as well.、Um, one good example:、um, before the event started on Sunday, Nvidia announced a partnership with VW and with Uber, and this is a, this is a, a way that the classic CES、um, gets integrated into、um, more modern things. So CES was, has always been about、um, hardware and, and chips and things like that, and a lot of that, a lot of those chips. Um, from companies like Nvidia and Intel are going to go into、um, powering AI and and other related robotics, and, and the best example of that, the, the most real example of that, is going to be、um, self-driving cars. 一月十三日登场的底特律汽车大展，预料又会掀起另一波人工智慧研发成果的高潮。彭博新闻认为，展览将带动各类概念股的股价上扬，而从家用推展到周边环境的互联智慧城市，在技术更加成熟之后，说不定很快就能够美梦成真。